Hey everybody, Jared here. It's been a long time since I made a video. Um, you're probably wondering where I've been. I have been trying to learn Python programming so I can actually build software tools myself so I can bring you guys and all my ideas to life. So bring it, you know, bring these ideas I have, all the different ways I know how to analyze things and be able to do it myself without needing to rely on a developer. So that's what I've been doing. Um, but I wanted to make a quick video about how you would create each keyword into its own ad group and set its match type as modified broad phrase and exact. And it's very not intuitive within the program here, which is why I wanted to make this video. Um, so to get started, let's just, and I, I think I actually noticed a, a bug. So, uh, but I'll, I'll show you how to do it and uh, we'll take it from there. First, you want to, you know, I'll create a campaign. I'm just going to keep it in the default. I'll call it social media. And the goal here, I'm just going to put a very small amount of keywords so we can try and conceptualize the idea rather than get bogged down with an amount of data. So social, and we'll say media, and let's just say it was uh, services, service, management, um, you know, platform, I don't know. That's good. We have a few keywords. We have four. Let's go ahead, add them to the main keyword list. They're here now. And now, typically what we would do is click analyze, you know, and then we can group them. But in this situation, we want to first check the settings and check our match types that we want in each group because each keyword is going to be in its own group. So these settings here, they don't even come into play because we don't care about the frequency. We care about each keyword and that it's, it's, it's in its own group. So we check that box there. And then if you want broad, you could also include that. You can set the default bids by match type. It's obviously better to pay higher for the exact match than it would be for phrase and then a little higher for phrase than it would be for modified broad because each match type is more specific to less specific. So we have those settings set, click save. Now we go over to the grouper tab. Now this is where it's not intuitive because um, you're wondering, how do I do that? Now what? It's on the keyword grouper tab there. It's a button and you click generate common themes. That's going to generate pretty much all the keywords in your keyword list, which we only have four. And you can see it's going to take each keyword, create a group from it, call it whatever that group or whatever that keyword is and just uh, title case it or camel case it, whatever you prefer. And then we hit finish. So now we have four groups. And then the question is what keywords are in those groups? We have, for example, social media services. We have social media services as broad or modified broad phrase and exact. And now the bug I noticed is the ad group name isn't showing up and that is a bug it should be showing up um, but it doesn't seem to be causing that big of an issue at least for me if anyone has an issue with that please let me know I I'm not experiencing a problem with that except for when I go ahead and delete it delete the campaign as I'll show you here in a minute but there's a workaround for that um, so we have uh, then we want to let's just say we add an ad um, we'll just say there's a nested ad. You can get pretty crazy. We don't have any custom parameters here. Uh, but, you know, for the sake of this, let's just put some custom parameters. We'll call it social media. And then we can say, we'll just, I'm doing this so you can see what that custom parameter does. Platforms. I'll just make it different from that keyword. And then service, we'll say solution, and we'll say solutions here. Okay, and let's just say our destination URL was http socialmedia.com slash whatever the, the, we'll just say whatever the group is. So we'll go ahead and add the ad group name like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and generate the ad here. 
and you will be able to see for this it says social media management in the headline and that's because it this ad here it's going to try and look it's going to try and look at those custom one two and three parameters but if it will fit then there's no need to use them if that makes sense um, but anyways we we don't see since all of the title all of the ad group names are under 25 characters less than or equal to 25 we didn't have a problem so nothing was really generated from all that so that was a waste of time but that's how you would do it um, just so I just so I can show you real quick how that would work let's say this was social media management services okay super long right let's go ahead and uh, generate we'll delete these ads again we'll regenerate them and you can see it put social in there and that is because social fit it, this failed and then it went to custom one whatever custom one is so if custom one fit then that's what it would put in there but if we used a different kind of ad let's just delete that one and we'll say custom one two and three like this we generate it and you see how it says get uh, it says social media MGMT the reason for that is this says social media MGMT so it's using custom one two and three and just concatenating it together like so so anyways that's how the ads work um, let me know if you have any questions but then from here we just generate the campaign and we're done so another question I've been getting a lot is like where are my ads you know I think you see you can scroll down in here and the ads are always going to be at the bottom part wherever it has a headline here obviously a keyword row cannot have a headline uh, that's where your ads are going to be so right there and then the same with Bing ads and I don't know why there's no scroll bar here there really should be if that happens and I'm sorry about this um, but if that happens you can just kind of wiggle the program for whatever reason it, it does that to me sometimes But there you go and that is pretty much how you would add each keyword into its own ad group uh, let me if, let me know if you have any questions and thank you very much